This is question 27 from the 2008 non-calculator paper. Here we're told that the diagram shows part of the curve with the equation y equals f of x. The coordinates of the maximum point of the curve are 2, 3. We can see that up here drawn on our diagram. Write down the coordinates of the maximum point of the curve with equation y equals f of x minus 2. So the first thing to recognise is where has the change taken place on um, our y of equals f of x. We can see here that the change has happened inside the bracket. Now we're just going to use a little shortcut here. It just makes it really nice and simple for us to work things out. Now the f we've located where the change has taken place um, and if it takes place inside of the brackets that means that it affects the x coordinate. So it's going to affect the x coordinate of our maximum point. So it's going to affect this coordinate here. Now, if the change happens inside the bracket, it's the opposite of what you would expect it to be. So the opposite of negative 2 is plus 2. So this coordinate, our x coordinate, is going to change by plus 2. So our x coordinate is going to be 4. There are no changes that have happened outside the bracket, so our y coordinate stays the same. So we get 4, 3. Part B, y equals 2 of f, 2 f of x. So in this situation, we can see that there has been no change inside the bracket. The change has occurred outside of the bracket. So because the change has happened outside, this affects our y coordinate. So we can say straight away that the x coordinate is going to be unchanged because there are no changes inside the bracket. There's no change to that x inside that bracket. So what's going to happen? Well, it's changing our y coordinate, and if the change occurs outside of the bracket, it does exactly what you would expect it to do. So if it is inside the bracket, it affects the x coordinate and it does the opposite. If it the change is occurring outside of the bracket, it affects the y coordinate and it does exactly what you would expect it to do. So here you can see that we're multiplying by 2. So that means that we would multiply our y coordinate by 2. So 3 multiplied by 2, that's going to give us 6. So our answers would be 4, 3 and 2, 6.